Cuba, it's me. Welcome to episode 325 of the Wheelie Show, which stands for Wrestling is Life. Life is Wrestling. Now, today is part 18 of my uh, feature promoting every Ontario wrestling promotion that's currently active in alphabetical order. Now, today I'm going to be doing Demand Lucha. Um, they have a show coming up on uh, March 25th, 2018, and uh, they've been doing some amazing shows over the years. And um, it's hard to tell really when it started because they've had a lot of different like incarnations and different names of different companies and whatnot. And they've also been partners with other companies, but they've been around a long time. And uh, I learned a lot by checking out their website. They have an amazing website, and um, they have everything you would need there. They have like. Uh, not only can you watch all their events now, like if you don't want to wait for shipping or whatever, you can just watch them now and rent them like $1.99 a piece, or you could just pay $3.99 a month to do unlimited streaming, and they'll even give you a two-week free trial just to see uh, how you like it. And there's a lot of stuff you can watch in two weeks. Um, they're also, um, not only do they have the great website, and I really like the blog section because it's just really nicely well done. Nice pictures, nice graphics. You click the right up you want to see and there's a lot of information. And uh, they also have Twitter, they have YouTube. They're also featured on High Spots Wrestling Network. They have a Facebook page. And um, man, they've had some great people come in. Like they, they focus on Lucha Wrestling, obviously with the Lucha in their name. And uh, some of the people that I've seen that stood out to me um, there was Glacier, that's right, Glacier from WCW. They had Super Crazy from ECW. They had uh, Vampiro, can you believe that? Um, from Lucha Underground, was like a host for one of their events. Uh, Joey Ryan, Lindsay Dorado, currently in the WWE. Amazing Red, who's like a, a legend as, as far as that kind of wrestling goes. Um, they have three champions that I was able to see. They have the Luchier, sorry. Lucha Premier, not Lucha, Lucha Premier Champion, and uh, it's currently, um, he used to be called Ophidian, now he's Ouroboros, uh, some, like something happened uh, and he changed his name, or he's like, uh, Ophidian the Ouroboros, or Ouroboros the Ophidian, I can't remember, I, I apologize, I should have wrote some better notes, and um, so he's the current champion right now, the Premier Championship, that championship has been around a long time, and had, uh, I believe, when they go through and they have them all in order, and I believe there's been eight champions. It's basically like a who's who of wrestling in Ontario nowadays. And uh, then they have the open weight champion, and uh, that is currently held by Buck Gunderson. I believe Speedball Mike Bailey was the last guy to hold it. And then they had some kind of um, battle royal, and Buck Gunderson eliminated them and winning it. And they're also, because they, they were involved with Hogtown Professional Wrestling and Victoria Commonwealth Wrestling, I believe, as well. And remember, always correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just trying to read this stuff. I only have like 10 minutes to put it together. So if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me. And they also have the Royal Canadian Tag Team Champions, which is currently held uh, by the, fr the fraternity. And this is their second times with the title. The fraternity has won it once more before. And uh, so the, the upcoming event is called Lucha Palooza. It's a 19 plus event. Sunday, March 25th, 2018, um, I believe it starts at 5 p.m., and this is taking place at Lee's Palace, which is 529 Blur Street, Floor, I'm not sure if I'm spelling it or saying it right, but it's spelled like Floor, B-L-O-O-R, Blur Street West in Toronto, Ontario. They are going to have a Mexican death match, six other Lucha Libre style matches. They have... Okay, so Ophidian will be uh, defending his Premier Championship against Sexy Eddie. Sexy Eddie, what a legend he is in Ontario in the independent wrestling scene. And then they're going to have a number one contenders match. Um, Josh Alexander will take on Carter Mason. Whoever wins that will face the Premier Championship, I believe, at their next show. Um, they're going to have Jesse Mack against Warhead. Uh, Lyle Knight will be in action. The Fraternity will be hosting like an in-ring talking segment, segment called The Frat Party. And um, I just really became a huge fan of them. I didn't know that much about them before, but just reading about them, looking through their website, everything has put a lot of time into everything. They've invested a lot of time. Whoever does their write-ups, whoever does their pictures, whoever does their promoting, they're doing it right. And they're also um, 
making sure it's professionally, putting the time and money and effort in to making it good. And they've also, like I've mentioned, partners with a lot of companies, but I'm, it's hard to say, like they even said something about Squared Circle in there and that they used to be called Lucha TO. And so I was able to find that much stuff. It said their first champion for the premier champion, I believe was 2011, but um, that doesn't mean anything really. Like they said that they've been a lot, around a long time, but it was hard to get a date. Uh, there wasn't anything on certain some of the websites I normally go to, uh, but they they should be like this is a one that we should promote. It's Canada's best lucha and probably their only lucha company. Like where do you see lucha in Canada, or even in the states? There's not that much. So you're gonna go there. You're gonna get to see a different wrestling style. They're providing something that you're not gonna see at every Ontario independent wrestling show. But congrats to them on doing such a great product. Make sure you check out this show on March or March 25th. It looks it's gonna be a stack card, and check get the two week free trial. Look, go back and look at they've had some amazing matches, and um, you can watch them without having to wait for shipping. Two week free trial, you don't even have to pay anything. And then even so, it's four dollars a month to sign up. That's like a dollar a week, less than a dollar a week. Money well spent, like. WWE and New Japan, those are all around ten to twelve dollars a month. This is three ninety nine, and you're gonna help it, a, a smaller company become one of those bigger companies because they're well on their way to doing that. But I want to hear from you guys because I only know so much and uh, I only have so much time for my research. What do you know about Demand Lucha? Have you ever been to one of their shows? Have you ever uh, participated, performed for the company? Have you ever? like signed up for their network or check out some of their matches online or any of that kind of stuff and what did you think let us know on the Willie show and always please remember like or you get a leg drop comment or you get a clothesline subscribe or you get a suplex i'm your host elian habanero i love wrestling cuba